The maker movement has been gaining traction in education, with many schools and libraries creating makerspaces. However, there are still many parents and educators who have never heard of the maker movement, makerspaces, or making as a noun. So what is the maker movement anyway? The maker movement is a cultural trend that places value on an individual's ability to be a creator of things as well as a consumer of things. In this culture, individuals who create things are called makers. Makers come from all walks of life with diverse skill sets and interests. The maker movement is more than electronics, robots, 3D printing, and drones. It is a way of thinking and a stance towards learning and community that is collaborative, participative, critical without being judgmental, and inclusive. The maker mindset supports education. Rather than judging a first attempt as inadequate, it is seen as a starting point for iteration until it reaches the status of beautiful work. This mindset works with a mastery-based learning approach where students keep working on a concept until they have it right, whether it takes five minutes or five days. The world is changing and students should be seen as the agents of change. Making puts that power in their hands. Making gives kids a connection to the real world solving real-world problems, which is intrinsically motivating. What is great with this approach is that no one has all the answers. No one is an expert. This means that students and teachers learn together authentically. So what does making look like in a classroom? A lot less teacher talking, and a lot more of teachers talking with kids, with the teachers driving the big ideas. There's a myth that the teachers will just sit back with the students doing all the work and discovering everything. That is crazy thinking. A maker classroom keeps things moving forward using scaffolding without giving students a seven-step checklist. Instead, letting students solve problems and really think. Kids bring a surprising amount of experience to the table and can be involved in choosing where they want to take the questions they are investigating. Student freedom with structure is essential in a maker classroom, not chaos or over-control. Oftentimes, making is limited to after-school maker spaces. But if we isolate making, it becomes marginalized. We excuse the rest of the school from taking on these new ways of learning and empowering students. A revolution's underway, but it's not about tearing down the old guard. It's about building. It's about creating. It's about breathing life into groundbreaking new ideas. It's called the maker movement, and it's changing the world. Created using Powtoon.